Hi everyone. Today I want to talk a little bit about the global presentations you and your teams will be doing at the very end of the semester. Uh, these are an important critical element to this class for a variety of reasons. First, I think it will uh, push all of us to expand outside of our indigenous culture. Uh, two, I also feel that this kind of a presentation or this kind of a project pushes us to learn about a culture that we may not have learned about before. Uh, and lastly, I think it is important to put you guys in the position of being a global manager and seeing the breadth of issues that a global manager might have to confront or manage through a global marketing project like this. So those are the objectives behind the project itself. Uh, there are four important key documents here for this project, and I'll go through three of them. The fourth is the rubric, and I think we all know what that is, and that'll just be posted to the Moodle site uh, so you can use it when you develop your projects. But for purposes of this video, I'll just talk about three of them. The first one is the assignment document that will give you all the details about the assignment. The second is a project charter form, which is something you would use as a team to complete uh, that, that helps you rough out what the project is you'll be working on and helps me understand it as well. And then lastly, uh, I have a template that I would use, that, that you will be using, that incorporates all of the different elements of the presentation. So let me go through these uh, briefly and then if you have particular questions about them, feel free to post to the forum. The first document I want to talk about is the uh, assignment document and that looks like this. Uh, we've talked about the learning objectives. The specifics of the assignment are that you and your team, same team as you will be using for your team online case presentations, will be developing a global presentation uh, in class in the last uh, couple of class periods for the class. Um, Number two, this is worth 120 points overall, and then there's a peer evaluation that you'll be completing for all members of your team, including yourself, so that's an additional 50 points. So all in all, this is a pretty important project for the course and valued at 170 points. Broadly speaking, this global course tries to get you involved um, when uh, into a meaningful opportunity to interact with another part of the world or a different culture. And so remember that that's a guiding principle behind this project. We found that over time there's greater success and enjoyment when the students themselves source the projects. So that's something I want to talk to you about very briefly here. Uh, think in terms of developing a project ideally where you are launching a new product or a current product into a new marketplace that's global. So we've had uh, projects done last semester. Uh, one team looked at launching the Butterfinger product into, I believe it was Germany. Uh, others have, uh, and, and no one worked for Butterfinger, but they knew the product well enough and there was public domain information that could help them get to a presentation level that they were comfortable with. Another option here is if any of you are working for employers who are interested in, in uh, the research you do or the project that you deliver, then you could certainly use a real life product or company that you're working for in developing a market launch plan for that product or company. So uh, consider your current employer as an opportunity for developing a project. It doesn't, it doesn't have to be done that way, but that is one option. I've listed down here on page two a variety of different types of projects. Um, so you just take a, take a moment to read through that and see if anything sparks a thought here. Uh, there are a couple of important deadlines here. The first one is that the project selection would be ideally completed by the Sunday of the third class week. So this really entails one of your team members getting in touch with me via email and suggesting a project and the scope itself. And once that gets approved, then your team would move into developing a project charter for this particular project. And that would be submitted by Sunday of the fourth class week. So let me just show you what this project charter looks like. Uh, here it is here, project charter form. 
those of you who are in consulting or have done consulting work, you know that sometimes the scope on a project can creep out of control. And so this project charter form is important for scoping reasons. We're interested in knowing aspects of which market you're talking about, uh, which product you're talking about, which firm, what are some of the constraints, what would be the deliverables, how would you judge it to be a successful project, so you can see success criteria there, uh, and then we provided down here some key hurdle dates and uh, deliverables. This one here, project risks, is especially important. I think it's important for all global managers to be assessing risk on an ongoing basis. So one of the things I would ask your team to do is what might be the potential risks that you would face in this uh, project development? So that's the project charter form. Uh, and here is the uh, template. Uh, you can see, if, if uh, let me just dial through this quickly. You'll see that there are 12 aspects of this project that are graded. Everything from the market profiling to uh, an analysis uh, of the competition, including Porter's Five Forces, uh, a brand equity pyramid, which we'll be talking about in, I think it's week four, maybe week five. You will actually be fielding market research. This is important to this project because one of the things we found is uh, there's a greater cultural understanding or a greater understanding of market research principles, which you've learned in 6210 uh, or other courses you've taken here at Carlson to apply that learning to global market research, which you will probably find has some surprises to it. There's a segmentation and positioning aspect to this, uh, this project. There's a launch strategy. I think it's important for us all to develop strategies, but execution is where the rubber meets the road, and as they say, and uh, so launch strategy, as you can see, is very important. And one of the most important aspects of that that we'll be talking about in this course is, do we standardize this product or do we adapt this product to the particular uh, vagaries of the local marketplace? Launch implementation plan. Here is more of the execution. There are five-year financial projections, which are very important. Uh, you can see point-wise. There's a conclusion and a wrap-up. And then we are also grading on the quality of the presentation, the in-class presentation itself, and the deliverable, which is your PowerPoint deck and any attachments you choose to include. So the points are roughed out here. Uh, you can see that there's 120 total points for this project. And then again, remember, there's a 50 points for the peer evaluation. So I think I've talked about the need for field work in the project. We've talked about the, oh well, the deliverables are not only the in-class presentation, but you'll also need to have two PowerPoint decks uh, printed off, excuse me, hard copy and delivered to the TA and I during the night of your presentation. And then also here's the rubric. Uh, and like I had said, that'll just be posted to, to Moodle. And if you have any questions, please let me know. Um, one thing to think about, uh, there are a, uh, there's some, some processes or a sta stages, I guess, for how you might um, develop a project. And a lot of times this is where teams will spend the most time. So think about the first step of this process being identifying or brainstorming project ideas. Might help to have all of the documents that we just went through in front of you guys when you do this. Number two, now you got to sort of prioritize which of these projects makes the most, in, uh, most uh, sense for your team to follow. Let me just uh, give you a couple of tips. Remember that the more public domain information there is available to you, the greater the opportunity for uh, complete analysis. Um, think about which idea or concept of yours leverages the class concepts best. And uh, that's an important aspect of the rubric is how well did the team incorporate class concepts into their project. And then uh, also ask yourself which of these opportunities would afford us the, the greatest ease to perform primary research and secondary research. Uh, and also, if you have any special access to decision makers in this process, that could help. That could be 
executives at your company who are interested in this project, or it could be other individuals that you know who have an expertise on this country or this product or this category. Uh, ultimately, the third step is to uh, touch base with me, like was mentioned earlier in the assignment, uh, you know, just sort of give me a heads up email. Here's what we're thinking. Here's the project. Here's the product. Here's the country. And here might be some factors we would factor in. Once I give you the thumbs up and I would say 90 to 95 percent of the time I give you a thumbs up uh, just based on that information, then you would move to the stage of developing the project charter form and submitting that as well. Uh, all in all, I found this is one of the better projects for synthesizing the information that you guys are learning, not only in this class, but other Carlson classes, uh, applying some of the concepts in this class and others to a real world setting, and also the opportunity to enhance your cross-cultural understanding through the process that you go through. Students enjoyed this project. I think they enjoyed this project last year. And so we continue to do this project as the uh, um, sort of fitting, uh, concluding element to the course. So if you have any questions, uh, I'm happy to entertain them on the forum. That's the glo global presentation project, the way we've got it. And uh, I look forward to talking with you more about this.